Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and today we will see how we can set up Google Workspace email. So for that you need to open up your browser but why do we need a Google Workspace in the first place? So it is quite helpful for all the businesses out there whether small or the large organizations and it helps us create custom emails and also help us manage all the things related to Google and also help us with the different apps of Google. So let's get started with it. So first of all, open up your browser and then just search for Google Workspace. And this is where it will lead you to. And all you have to do is just open up the very first link that you will see in the Google search results. Just open it up. And this is the actual website that we will be exploring. So after opening up this website, you need to just click on this option of products on the top. Just click on it. And after that, just click on see all apps. Just scroll down a little bit and then you will be able to see all the applications that will be included in your Google workspace. And these will be really helpful for your business operations. So let's start. So for that, you need to click on this option of start free trial and you can just click on this one or the one on the top right hand side. Just click on it in order to start your free trial. After that, you need to provide some information like your business name and the number of employees which are currently employed by you and the reason where you are currently staying. So just provide the info. Choose the number of employees as per your organization. I'm just choosing it two to nine and also the reason and the reason might get auto selected according to your IP address. So you can change it accordingly. And also this free trial will last for only 14 days. So you need to charge your Google space or get a subscription for this Google workspace. And after that, just click on this option of next. Then it will ask you to add some more information about you, like your first name, your surname, and your current email address that you use for your business operations. And after providing all the information, you need to just click on this option of next. And after that, it will ask you whether your business have a domain or not. And if you don't have one, then just simply click on this option of no, I need one. And Google will be assisting you how you can get a domain. And if you already have a domain, then just simply click on this option of yes, I have one that I can use. And after that, you will be providing your existing domain. So just choose it as per your current situation. So let's click on this option of yes, because I already have one with me. And in case if you are struggling to get a domain, you can always comment down below and our team will be happy to hear your problems and we will be coming up with new videos according to your problems. So just comment down below, click on next after that. So we are basically using this domain and all the emails that are being sent to this particular domain will be uh, reverted back to our Google workspace when we complete our uh, setup of this Google workspace. So it is just telling us the same thing. And after that, you need to just click on this option of next. And in case you want to change your domain or buy a new domain and set up that and use that domain for your for all your emails then you can just click on this option of i want to buy a new domain instead so for now let's click on next so it is now asking us for the permission to promote google workspace and its related features to all the users of our workspace so just choose it accordingly as per your wish and after that you need to provide username and password and this is the username and password that you will be using while signing up to your Google workspace. So just provide the details so you can use them later while signing up. After providing your username and password, just click on this option of I'm not a robot. And then just click on this option of agree and continue. Wait for it to load. And after that, you need to just click on this option of continue to set up. So we have already set up our uh, Google Workspace account, but now we need to move to next steps. Then just simply click on I understand. After that, your admin panel will be opened up. Just click on this option of next. And also it might ask you to add the billing details so it can 
give you the subscription when the time comes after the free period and you can also cancel your subscription within the 14 days of this setup so just click on next for now and take a tour click on next again and here you need to protect your domain and also verify that it is your domain and you are the owner of this particular domain in order to make all the operations using this domain so this is where you need to verify your domain just click on next and under this section you will be able to create custom emails for all the users in your google workspace like if there is someone from sales department someone from marketing and someone from other particular department you can just provide custom emails to each of them and they will be able to email using that custom emails and it will give a more professional feel to your business so let's click on next for now and after that you need to activate your gmail for unlazy.co and it might take up to 60 minutes for you to activate your gmail so just click on next for now then click on finish after that you need to just click on protect in order to verify your domain and right after you verify your domain these two uh, sections will be activated and then you will be able to create uh, different emails or custom emails for different sections of your business and also you will be able to activate your gmail account so you need to follow all these three steps in order to get the things going and after that you need to just click on this option of three lines on the top left corner and click on this option of home and this is the panel where you will find all the details related to your google workspace and in order to set up your billing uh, details you can just click on this option of setup billing scroll down and you will be able to see all the features that you will be getting for subscribing to a business standard workspace just click on this option of get started after that you will find all the details related to your pricing of this particular plan and then you can just simply click on checkout and since it is a tutorial video so I'm just showing you around now let me get back and when you click on this option of directory you will be able to see that you can assign emails to different users so just click on this option of users and here you can just click on this option of add new user and provide them different email or custom email as per your requirements and if you want to use a particular google app then you can just simply go to this section of apps over here and then just click on this option of google workspace and it will open up a list of different applications you can choose them as per your requirements uh, whichever is needed at the particular moment and when you click on this option of billing over here you will be able to see this option of subscriptions just click on it then just click on this option of add or upgrade a subscription and here you can start a free trial for any of the google workspace it can be enterprise plus standard business plus and obviously there are different uh, variations in these plans you can just simply click on this option of start free trial for it after that you need to just scroll down and click on get started then make sure that you have selected this option of trial plan and after that just click on this option of checkout after that you will be able to get it for 14 days and see whether it is quite helpful for you or not and after 14 days are over you will have to pay for the further uses and this is how you set up google workspace account and i hope this video was helpful if you still need any further assistance you can always comment down below and we will be happy to help you out make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos